What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Tune In Tuesdays exclusively on Distash. My name is Monty Kataria and follow myself and Distash on the gram. The handles are right in front of you. Five brand new music videos from the overall global South Asian diaspora and the first one is a very beautifully spiritual rendition of the Hindu chant, the Hindu religious chant of the Gayatri Mantra. This is coming from Dr. Riya Mehta's debut EP Soul Ceremony and her first track with a music video. It's called A Bright Light. <laughs> With Soul Ceremony, Dr. Riyam had this debut EP. What she's doing is she's collectively decolonizing wellness, putting all that healing together, and in her own genuine way, carrying forward the ancient tradition of wisdom from the East to the West authentically and genuinely. The music video is as beautiful as her singing and as the Gayatri Mantra itself. Shot on location in Varanasi and of course with Rhea, I think it's a beautiful amalgamation of what the Gayatri Mantra stands for. What I personally love about this particular music video is not that the Gayatri Mantra lyrics, the closed caption come in, but prior to that, it puts you in a spiritual realm and explains to you how beautiful and how how relevant and how important, just not the Gayatri Mantra, but just meditation, healing, and wellness, and wisdom all together in general, in life, for you and your loved ones is. Rhea Mehta's debut EP will be releasing very, very soon in 2022. And of course, her first track and music video is out right about now. We give it four and a half winks and you can watch it on Rhea Mehta's official YouTube channel. For your next music video is the Feel Good Anthem of 2022. Self-proclaimed, but I'm telling you, it definitely is. This time PK features with Shillong based actress who you might have seen with Kriti and Tapsi in Pink. She's also a musician and has her own band. Her name's Andrea Taryang. This is definitely a feel good anthem for 2022 and it's called Sunshine on the Street. When PK makes her music, it definitely has to have color, it has to have sunshine, and it definitely has to have the color pink, along with many other bright colors from our color foam spectrum that we have. This time, pink definitely works with not just Andrea, but also with Sunshine on the Street. It is an absolutely beautiful song, and the less I say about it, the more you watch it, it will put a smile onto your face. So please don't waste any more time. Go to YouTube right now and watch PK and Andrea's sunshine on the street and we give it a certified four wings and it definitely is the feel-good anthem for 2022 thus far. One thing that the Punjabi music industry is doing right now is taking it up a level. I'm honestly exhausted with AP Tillon, G Minister, uh, Shinda Kalo and Gurinder Gill only because I've heard it so much but that music is the next level. Same thing is happening by my man Shob. I have no idea where you're from but your track We Rollin has made history without a music video in the past few months. So the official music video was launched. It's Punjab and West Coast put together, and I think it is completely the future in the present and has left a lot of people in the past. We roll in by Shub video, the visuals by Ruble GTR, I think are insane. We give it four winks, nothing less, probably more, but it just took a while to get to the music video, so just half a wink less. Four winks and you can watch it on Shub's official YouTube channel. Our next music video is a complete switch up. This is Sindhu Musewala's youngest in charge. <laughs> claims that I guess he's already won the Punjab elections that are happening in the next few weeks. Again, Sonny Malton comes back with their beef back we know when and now it's Sonny Malton, the kid on the music and Siddhu Musewala on the vocals. Entire track I really like and it kind of shows where music can become in charge for the youth of a state that is so diverse as Punjab, so rich as Punjab, not just in India, but globally as well. And I'm talking to you, Canada over here, youngest in charge. Again, Siddhu Musewala's vocals are on point, but this time it's pretty much a campaign for getting votes. And he's already claiming victory 
prior to the results. We're just gonna wait to see what happens when he gets the results, but for now, I think it is a beautiful push to the youth, and if we can get drugs off the street and households, and if we can get people to focus on music and education and just being together collectively, and I think there's nothing better than that. We give this track three and a half winks, and you can watch Youngest in Charge by Siddu Musewala, the MLA if it happens, on Siddu Musewala's official YouTube channel. And our final track is Mickey Singh with family member Jess Locos, Feels Like It. This is the clip right for you. Okay, last week I said the last song that we reviewed on Mickey Singh was just another Mickey Singh track. But the thing is that when he keeps coming off with music back to back, even if it's a Mickey Singh vibe, I mean, it's his song, so it makes sense. I see that Treehouse VHT Vision Hustle Talent is now just not a team or a crew, it's a conglomerate. They're making music, they're making moves, and we can see that. The visuals are off the chart. The song is, again, nothing absolutely phenomenal, but it is justice. To what Mickey sing and now debut Jess Loco, my man, you killed it. And overall, it's a complete bop, a complete vibe. Check it out right now. We give it three and a half winks. And this is Feels Like by Jess Loco and Mickey Singh. You can watch the official video on Treehouse VHT's official YouTube channel. This is myself, Monte Guitar, signing off. I will see you next week with more music from around the world, of course, from the global South Asian diaspora. I'll see you next time. Take care. Good office.